so um, I'm in the middle of cleaning up the head or uh, the surface where the valve cover gasket um, meets on the motor and I was just like looking into some stuff and I found that uh, there was a recall for cars with N52 motors and it was basically a recall for uh, Vanos bolts so basically what BMW did they used some uh, weak aluminum bolts on the Vanos sprockets which uh, are known to shear off and so there was a recall for some cars and they basically just give replacement bolts that are stronger the recall is basically for cars between 2009 and 2011 so mine's a 2010 um, and it's kind of sketchy because the recalls include um, E90s, E92s, and a bunch of other cars that have the, th uh, the N52 motor, but they don't really include E91s on there. It's mentioned on the recall uh, like bulletin, but uh, there's another section that says it's not included. So I called up my dealership and tried to verify it, and it looks like my car is not included on the recall. So looked at my bolts they look like they're the old style ones that uh, are being recalled so basically while I have the valve cover off I'm gonna just replace those bolts I ended up ordering some new ones from FCP they should get here uh, hopefully by Wednesday so yeah if we go to this side of the car turn the light on you can see the bolts on the Venos sprocket. So here's uh, the intake sprocket. There's four uh, little Torx bolts on the sprocket. And then there's also on the intake side, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but um, there's four bolts on that sprocket as well. So uh, basically these bolts are known to shear off and mine look tight. They, they don't look like they're having any issues, but like I said, while I'm here, might as well do it um, just for peace of mind because I'd hate to, you know, put this all back together and then next year my bolts break loose and then the motor's damaged. So I already have the radiator fan removed so that I have a little more clearance to uh, rotate the crankshaft. Not really needed. I tested it and I was able to fit a... Uh, 22 millimeter socket on the crankshaft bolt and it fit just fine so it's not needed but I was doing the water pump anyway so I left it off um, so before we start rotating the engine we're gonna go ahead and remove the spark plugs uh, you can rotate it with the spark plugs in there but there's gonna be a lot more resistance so it's just a lot easier if you remove the spark plugs so right now I have a 5 8 uh, inch socket on these guys, I'm just gonna break them all free and then uh, pull them out. So now with the spark plugs free, should be able to rotate the crankshaft and uh, spin it so that I have access to all these bolts. Um, so we're going to start with the uh, intake uh, Venus shaft thing first. Okay, so here you can't really see it, but there is a bolt right there that's going to rotate the crankshaft. So I've got a uh, 22 uh, millimeter socket. Um, and like I said, this is how much room you have if you uh, remove the radiator fan shroud. So you can fit all sorts of deep sockets and extensions. So it's just a lot easier. And then it fits over the uh, crankshaft bolt. Maybe if I can find it. Yep, and then we're just going to rotate it uh, clockwise and you should be able to spin it. So um, I'm going to hold that there for now. We're going to take a look at the bolts uh, that we're going to be removing and replacing. So right there you can see a couple on the intake. So you can probably get by with regular uh, 
uh, like torque sockets like that. Um, but I went ahead and bought these extended reach ones um, just for the fact that on the exhaust side you've got the uh, timing chain cover or whatever you want to call that and it's kind of in the way of the uh, bolts yeah you can kind of see one right here um, but yeah so with the timing chain cover in the way you only have this one little spot right here right in between this and the uh, actual camshaft like uh, bolts so yeah the extended reach is going to be super helpful otherwise I don't think I could fit a normal torque socket in there so we're going to start with the intake side and uh, we'll go from there okay. so unfortunately uh, I'm not going to be able to use the extended uh, T45 socket because what's needed is a hole in the center for the uh, stock bolts so uh, I'll get a close up of that later but my uh, extended ones don't have this hole uh, so I'm gonna have to remove them with this guy, this little stubby thing, and hopefully I can get it to fit. Um, and then the new bolts don't have the little center pin, so they don't require the hole, and then I could use the extended ones to properly torque it, but this might be a pain in the ass. This is gonna be my access point right there. So, uh, I go ahead and start removing them one at a time, and then replacing them as I go. Here we go. And you only want to do one at a time because you don't want this thing to fall apart. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, these bolts are like already super loose. definitely don't want to drop these either so I might actually throw some towels uh, in here okay okay here's one bolt so you can kind of see what I mean by this so yeah, you see these these bolts have uh, a little thing in the center. Uh, so a normal Torx driver won't really fit unless it has that hole, but the new replacement bolts don't have that little center piece. Okay, per the uh, BMW instructions, it says it's a good uh, practice to uh, blow out any oil in the uh, holes. So got my air compressor um, right here. and. Uh, little air blower gun thing so I'm just gonna blow out all the oil and block it okay let's go ahead and throw the new bolt in okay and you can see these new bolts don't have uh, they don't have the uh, little center piece in them. Let's see, let's get this guy in. Okay. Okay, so I've got the T45 uh, little extended torques bit, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this guy torqued down. Okay, so these bolts are pretty soft and I'm having a hard time um, torquing it down. So they have an initial torque of 53 inch pounds uh, plus uh, 60 degrees. It says that uh, the final torque after the 60 degree turn should be in the realm of uh, 70 to 124 inch pounds, but these bolts are pretty soft and there's not a whole lot of real estate on them. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get it to 70. I'm going to add some red high temperature Loctite because um, these uh, Venos things, whatever they're called, um, when you replace them, you replace the whole unit. So it, 
I shouldn't ever have to remove it. So I'm gonna clean it out with uh, some carburetor cleaner right here. Um, just so the thread locker um, can bite to the metal and not to oil. Okay, that should be fine. So let's uh, apply some red thread locker. Make sure you use high temp thread locker and make sure it's oil safe as well. Um, for the fact that it's gonna be in your engine and oil temperatures are can reach above 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so you don't need much. Sorry if it's out of focus. Don't need much. Just dab a little bit on there. Okay. That should be plenty. So let's go ahead and pop this guy on. In here. Bolt her up. Okay, 53 inch pounds. Again, and you gotta make sure your torques head is seated properly because it can slip real easily. Okay, that's 53. So we're gonna bring it to 70. Okay, we're gonna bring it to 70 now. And that should be good. Okay, that's 70. Should be good to go. Okay, go ahead and rotate the crankshaft and move on to the next one. Okay, now that's in place. So let's remove this guy. Okay, let's clean it out with some more carb cleaner. Let this guy dry. And while that dries, we'll go prep our next. I'm going to use my uh, air compressor as well to kind of just get the carb cleaner out of there. This little hole. Dab on my thread locker. Just kind of spread it. Oh, fuck yeah, spread it. Okay. Should be good. Work this guy into the threads. Sorry if it's a little hard to see. Doing the best I can here. Okay, that guy's in. Thread this guy in. Okay. I'm just going to skip the initial 53 and we'll just go straight to 70. How about that? How about them apples? Okay, and again, keep it centered. Okay. 
Okay, that's 70. So that's all four for the uh, intake side. So let's move on to the uh, exhaust side now. Okay, again, so we're gonna have to get the bolt positioned right here and it's gonna be pretty tight, but should be able to do it. So let's go give this guy a couple cranks. By the way, I'm rotating clockwise here. Uh. Okay, so you have to angle this guy real close to the timing cover, the timing chain cover, so you like won't even be able to see it. Okay, this might be hard because I have to use my bigger uh, socket here. So this might not work very well. But I think I can get enough in there to break the torque. There you go. Break the bolt free. So yeah, just be careful. And make sure you don't drop the bolts. But yeah, the camshaft cover kind of gets in the way. So like I said, you just got to be careful. Okay. There's that. Okay. Let's go and clean it out. So carb cleaner. Uh, it's just hard to look and see anything. Okay, that should be good. Get some air in there. Okay, we got some thread locker. So let's go ahead and Get this guy in there. Fuck. It's really hard to see the hole. Okay. She's in. Now I can take this guy and tighten it up. Work the thread locker in and out through the threads. Okay, she tightened up. Go ahead and torque it down to 70 inch pounds. Again, make sure this your thing is seated perfectly. Oh, otherwise, that's going to happen. Okay, 70 inch pounds. Moving on to the next one. Okay, uh, camera cut out, but uh, basically I almost dropped uh, the bolt when I took it out. So again, uh, make sure you put your towels in here because 
Uh, you don't want to turn this job into a even more expensive and time consuming job than it already is, so. Ah, oh, fuck. Like well, I said, you gotta be real careful with these, because if you're uh, misaligned in any way, you're gonna strip the head. These are super soft bolts. This one might be fucking stripped. Ah, shit. I think I did strip this one. Yep, you can see I got like metal shavings and stuff in here too. Fuck. Well, good thing it's mostly tightened. God, these bolts fucking suck. Okay, so I'm having a lot of trouble uh, getting my socket to fit, so I bought one of these little uh, little T45 Torx security bits. Um, this should help me, and I'm just gonna attach a wrench to this, because uh, I can't break this loose with my uh, current Torx setup. I'm gonna go ahead and put my towels on here, so I don't wanna lose any of this shit. I'm gonna put more towels just for the sake of this being not attached to anything. So some towels here. So some towels there. So that'll be real bad, so. Okay. Let's break this fucker loose. Let's get this in. Okay. Should be able to break this free now. Again, you want to make sure this is like perfectly in line with everything. Got it. Okay. Now I can spin this dude off. Just gonna try and retorque one last bolt. Uh, the very last one, cause I kinda fucked up the angle of it. I'm just gonna give it a nice little turn here with this thing and call it a fucking day. Let's give my paper towels. Okay, that should be good. That should be more than snug enough. All right, so that's it. So yeah, should be good to go now. So yeah, um, you're probably gonna need uh, this guy, the sort of long reach uh, socket, as well as this little guy. Um, Cause 
it's pretty, this side's pretty fucking hard with the timing chain cover in the way. Um, so you gotta really be careful. Um, cause these, the bolts that they gave us, uh, with the recall and the stock bolts are just super soft. So if you're not aligned properly, you're going to, uh, fuck up. So. All right. So that's it guys. Um, that's all you have to do to replace the bolts. For your uh, Venos that are known to uh, shear off, um, yeah, it's kind of difficult. The uh, uh, intake side's not so bad because um, there's more access, but the exhaust side is uh, super difficult. You have a small little window where you can actually access the bolts and remove them completely um, due to the timing chain guard or cover, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, you're going to need one of these, an extended reach T45, um, and you're also going to need, uh, one of these small T45 things that you could put like a wrench on. Um, you got to make sure that you get one that has a hole in it. This one doesn't have a hole, um, which is fine because I was only using this for torquing the new bolts and the new bolts aren't security torques. They don't have a center pin, but the stock bolts do. So, um, yeah, like I said, you really got to be careful in making sure your tools are lined up correctly and fully seated in the screws that you're removing and installing because they're super fucking soft. They, they started stripping immediately as soon as you start turning them. So it's like, yeah, you got to just be real careful and then be aware of any metal shavings that like, uh, or little sh metal bits that flake off of the screwed heads. Um, yeah, so not too bad of a job. It's definitely worth doing if you're taking your valve cover gasket off, but, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So just, again, be ready with your tools, um, and be extra, extra careful making sure the angles of your tools are correct. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this helps all you guys who aren't included in the recall for the Venus bolts. Uh, it's my E91 boys. So, thanks for watching. Peace.